What if this morning was the last time you wake up? What would your day consist of? How long would you stay up? Would you say your prayers? And if so, what would you pray for? Wasted all that time sleeping, now we fighting just to stay up. What if this morning was the last time you wake up? What would your day consist of? They're playing capture the fucking flag. So all day long, you gotta be on fucking tilt. Just all day long. Be ready to cross that line all day, every day. Nobody's on your side. That bitch is trying to hit you with this. She's trying to get a baby. She's trying to get a fucking lawsuit. She's trying to send you to jail for a fucking... She's trying to get on. This bitch trying to be famous. She's trying to start a fucking career. He want this. He want that. He want that. This motherfucker... This, this, the nigga, the, the rap trap talking about you, that podcast, and the, the, and that's the trap part of this right here. That's, those are your options. That's your life when you make the, I kill a nigga, he step on me. I don't know, I, I shoot a nigga, I'm, I'm a down him. I'm a kill, nigga, I'm a kill. I said a dope and I got it on me. Told me a brick before I got in here. When you make that music, that's your life. That's 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 what you have. But if you make some positive, productive music, crickets. Yeah, you gonna it's gonna be cool. Like you gonna have positivity everywhere you go, but you nobody gonna be looking at you. Nobody wants to hear that positive shit. This is the rap trap. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is um the baby just went to jail for yet another run-in with the law. Um this time I made sure, first of all, I don't do any stories about the baby. Motherfucker, key. Ah, 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 hey man, you see, hey, uh, I can't wait. Ah, uh, not my, like my nigga, I don't want, I don't want to talk about this nigga because when, first off, I did an interview with Cam Cohort, the nigga that they jumped in the mall. I did an interview with him. He told the real story, what really happened. Any real nigga that listened to what he was saying will say, okay. That sounds more plausible than one dude squaring up with a motherfucker and beating him up to where his pants fell the fuck down and, and held the camera the whole time. But to the internet, oh, I ain't hating it. Yeah, oh, both y'all on there hating. So like, so it turned into now I'm I'm a hater, but and it, it was so crazy because I had already talked about the baby. And let it be known, he's not that. He's not, that's not, he's not. And I thought it was obvious. But obvious to who? It's obvious to street niggas. Street niggas are the minority in this space. So, 
when the shit come out, I'm fucking outnumbered. So I said, all right, that's, I'm just going to stay away from that shit altogether because I just don't like the, even the feeling of, of somebody, like, he a hater. I'm like, oh, no. I, I, like, all I said was, he's not really that. He's, but he has to act like this because of the rap trap. The rap trap is putting him in this situation, which now you see more of what the fuck I'm talking about. There's proof that he he uh uh did uh had fucking um fight set up for the internet. He did the 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 trolling. He did it the uh, the the six nine. He did the TJ eight six. Get himself arrested. You know uh uh get like just get news coverage. Just blow the shit up bigger than life. He did that shit in the beginning. Now all this new shit that's happening, I just stay away from it because. Niggas are getting their, themselves arrested on purpose nowadays because it boosts numbers. There are people in the offices that are telling artists, your numbers are slipping. You may need to do something. It's not going to hurt you any. This is why it's good that you're a felon already. What's another felony going to hurt? You're not going to have to do any real time. So I don't trust anything I see anymore. The rap trap, even, you know, I, I don't even come on here on this show unless it's just something just out of the fucking, because a nigga going to jail or whatever, like, again, nigga getting jumped, a nigga getting robbed, like, nigga, that's, that's, I, I didn't already did it. I, I've already, I don't, I'm not just going to keep repeating my fucking self, but I want, I, Niggas keep on talking about this shit. So I, that's one thing I want to come on here and say. Like, nigga, I don't want to do stories about the baby. The Rap Trap documentary is, is being shocked mentally. The cameraman, the editor, how many days I'm going to have. I'm, I'm worried about that. The Three S's book. Like, I'm deep in that shit, nigga. It's, it's, it's 12, 30 in the morning right now. The baby, he, first of all, congratulations to a nigga. Congratulations to a nigga, a black man, getting to a point where he uh, is getting, bringing money in for um, his people. Uh, congratulations to that. There's no more even. There's no more talk to be had with the baby. Like what I was saying was, when he first, and a lot of folks say, I'm, like they ain't never heard the baby till I said something about him. All I said was, this nigga was the same nigga that I was telling an artist, hey, you need to get, you need to have. Look at his um, look at um his um, look at how comfortable he is. In front of the camera, he's like, because it was a video of him. Um, he was doing his shit, girl songs. They were in a, a, a tub or some shit like that. He was uh, smacking their ass as they was in the shower and shit like that. Um, and he was just, I was trying to show him because I'm always looking at uh, underground artists I was used to. Um, now they send me their shit, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's paid for shit, but I'm saying. I would, I would look at um, underground artists like they got a thousand views on their shit, 800 views, just looking at, you know, what's going on because I'm trying to relay what, cause, just because it got 82 views don't mean it's a bad song, bad video, bad anything. It's just nobody wants to hear from any rappers. That's why you, if you're an artist, you need to go to Conseco's Rap School, go to that channel, or the channel is Tactical Operations. I'm probably going to have to change the name of that channel um because it's starting to gain steam but um the links in the description box i'm looking on there to see things that i can relate to an artist like hey see what he did on that scene right there that's what i'm talking about when i say you know um look at the camera don't look away like don't that shows that you're nervous 
You want to be confident in videos. See how he has the holes there. See how he's interacting with them. And you can tell that he really smacking the ass and not just, you know, like, you know, he really getting into it with him. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I was doing. And then uh, he had a song. Um, I was like, I was, was looking at the shit and it's just, it just so happened. He was the artist that I was looking at. I thought, you know, you have no idea how many artists that I know about the beef they in. You know, know about, you know, this, this, and that. Because what every city has in common is the videographer. You go to the, in Arkansas, they have a um, videographer, videographer called, I think it's Fest, Festo Vision, Festo something. And it's, it's a dude in the gas mask with a camera. And all the Arkansas dudes, uh, Bag Rich, Scoop, uh, Goonie Shakur, Shakur, um, them niggas, and then in Baltimore they got. It's the same shit, not Zach TV. Um, fuck that. Texas has a uh, half pint. You go on his shit and you can see all the fucking Texas artists. And so that's what I was doing. I was going to the video videographers and looking at all the artists. And it's just, I did that to see different shit, to relate to different artists. Um, that's like my job, like promoting artists, artist development. This is my fucking job. So I was on it. So when he came out and, and what I was trying to tell you was he had another video uh, it was a Carolina Panther song. And I hope I remember to put that shit in this video. Where he was in the fucking auditorium high-fiving old white dudes. And it was an anthem he made for the fucking Carolina Panthers. So, that's what I was seeing. When he came with this... Video where he's in front of a trap house and his crackhead uncle coming over there talking some, hey man, them folk around the corner, they trying to move in on y'all, man. Y'all need to do something about this shit. All right, I'm gonna do something about this. And not everybody got a whole bunch of guns. They got the black fat flags and shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? So I used it as a fucking example of what the fucking rap game wants you to be. What it will turn a person into. And from that, now baby started rising after that. And then the clown shit started happening where nigga, you know, uh, the nigga setting up fights with other motherfuckers. No, don't nobody know what the fuck happened in the Walmart. But what I was saying was, nigga, that, that's obviously not fucking you. But he's made it now. This industry is built for those type of people. Lil Pump, 6 9 the baby. Take your fucking pick. Real fucking flamboyant, animated, don't mind fucking acting. Acting does not feel uncomfortable acting like something they're not. Does not mind putting on a face and then going back to the house and, and just, fuck, this fucking guys are fucking crazy. They see this game as entertainment. And like I said, and, and what ended up happening was after I, I spoke, I, I did the first video about the baby just, you know, not being that, and this is what the rap trap does to you. Then nigga had a, a fight or something else that played into the rap trap. I'm like, look, see, it's another thing. And as I'm doing all the other artists, and then the shit happened in the mall with Cam Cohart. Cam Cohart hit me. I do the interview over the phone. I can tell what Cam is saying is fucking true. Cam says, if you ain't seen the interview, go look at the fucking interview. Cam say he got jumped by the nigga that's in the video with him, with the baby. Let me make sure this shit's still recording, because this bitch will stop recording, and I'll just be talking. And I need to start doing this before air video. Damn.
Damn. That should look the image we need some. But the baby coming to fucking mall, fucking with him. He got a fumbling fiddle. I don't give a fuck what happened before. Uh, only thing I was on, did baby beat this, he said solo, dolo, he beat him up by himself. That's the only thing I gave a fuck about. Shit, Cam made that song fucking with him? Fuck no. Fuck no, none of that shit. I'm not on, Cam, like, come on with that bullshit, man. I'm trying to see, hey man, that like, no, okay, niggas uh, jumped you, whatever like that. Okay, nigga could have said, we jumped the fuck out this whole, whatever the fuck, he did it, whatever. I was checking the fact, was it Dolo? Did he do that Dolo? No. And he had fucking proof, but, and, and to any real nigga, you listen to Cam's store, and, and if you, like I said, if you're a street nigga, you understand, because you've been in fights before. You didn't got jumped before. You see the camera cut. If you from there, you know that fucking where they started and where they ended was exactly how the fuck he said. These internet motherfuckers believe it was nigga punch his ass one time, beam. Uh, get it at, get it at, right? And if you don't believe that, then you have to believe that it, if something happened in between the time that nigga seen him and the, oh, when the initial fucking punch, and when they ended up in the fucking hallway, a lot of shit happened. But I'm on the internet, so like it didn't matter like what real street niggas knew. That's the minority here in this space. So when the fucking interview come out, yeah, hey, I wrote these motherfuckers, hey, them over, like. Like, me and Cam grew up together. I don't know that motherfucker, man. I don't know him. I was trying to find out information about what was going on. And this is a, another reason why I do not want to be friends with anybody in no industry. Because I don't want to be tied into motherfuckers. Like, how he feels is how he feels. Like, I, I'm... The fuck? But it taught me a, a, a valuable lesson, like, nigga, if you, if, nigga, you think it, nigga, don't you jump into this industry and start motherfucking, because motherfuckers will relate you and put you with these motherfuckers. So, nah, I'd rather stay right the fuck here and keep this strict shit straight A.O. Nation and my people and, and lead the fucking celebrities out because I can, like, that shit will, will just fuck everything. I got to keep this shit like it is. But I was trying to see if he was dolo. Motherfuckers needed to hear Cam's side. Nobody wanted to, nobody's fucking, I don't got to love him in order to say, hey man, like, hey man, speak your peace. Then, no, that's the only interview. But see, that's the, see, but here we go, dog. It was what it was. Video come out, interview come out. I fuck, 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 fucking haters and 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 you know these are the same motherfuckers that said that video that I said uh, the the NBA young boy wanna be um, on the Big Facts podcast channel. Uh, I'm talking about um, if you haven't seen that video, go to the fucking channel so you can see it. But the prison nigga, the niggas in prison, the NBA young boy wanna be is in prison and. Uh, Bear or big prison nigga is slapping him up and down, and motherfuckers in the comments talking about that's not NBA young boy. He would have fucking fucking murdered that fucking dude. They're saying that NBA young boy wouldn't get slapped around like this dude was getting slapped around. NBA young boy has superpowers because he raps good. So that's why I'm telling you, like, I'm not on doing stories about the baby because they're not being received in the right manner. I understand that we uh, that we understand it and shit like that, but honestly, there's nothing more to say about this nigga. He's fake, just 
uh, just like everybody else in the industry. Um, and you know what, dog? I said this. I said he makes catchy music. Like he makes catchy music, and and it, and it, the shit with the bop in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like obviously I don't like mama rap and shit like that. Not to say I don't like. I'm not you know like that whole which I don't even feel like you know. Joe Budden is like that the way he don't like none of the anybody. If you like music, then there are some new songs nowadays that maybe you gonna move to. You can get energy to and shit like that. Um, but I can tell, and it matters. I can tell when a nigga is actually what he's saying he is, and it matters, man. And if you're not a street nigga then you don't understand. It, it, it's, it's just like a person who's not a movie buff. Um, they don't give a fuck about the, how the directors, um, they switch directors in the middle of this movie and uh, that this movie is a remake of the fucking original and they fucking destroyed it. This is a fucking horrible uh, replication of, and shit like that. You're just going and watching the movie. You don't know what I'm saying? But a movie, but like I can't walk out me. But this is bullshit. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. When you, it's like, dog, you just, you just making words rhyme. You're just making words rhyme. I can bop to Kodak because even though it's fucking retarded, like he, I know he don't know no fucking better, and he really, he like mean this shit. This nigga stupid for real. Like, he know he going to prison. Yeah, that was up. This nigga know he going to prison. And that's, that's how I can listen as someone who's been there. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga cool with going to prison. All right, all good, my nigga. As long as you know you going. But for a nigga just to be saying, like, yeah, I shot a nigga, I kill a nigga. A nigga coming, I kill him. I got a nigga going. And it's just like, It, it just comes off wrong. It just rubs a nigga the wrong way. So, because of your person, and it's like, dog, and it's, it's so many people that love this shit, it does not even matter that I don't, you know what I'm saying, fuck with that, that, you know, that the music that go to Saturday Night Live, Live. I don't fuck with it, but salute that nigga for doing shit that a lot of niggas wish they can do. You know, nigga, get them ice head chains and, and, you know, be able to do all this shit, whatever. That's, salute that. Just like you got to salute Cardi B. Just like you got to salute any other, you know, uh, entertainer that you don't specifically or, what's the word, you don't necessarily like. They did something that we all want to do. They reach the level of success. I don't have to fucking like him. The only difference is I can tell you. It's not like oh, dude, I don't like that. I can I can explain to you. I can elaborate fully what it is I don't like. Um. Now, when we come forward, um, uh, and and because I don't, I, I choose not to pay. I don't. I I stay away from it. The only reason I got to speak on this shit now is because motherfuckers keep what's going on and this is the news. Here it is. You get arrested and yes, he is going to fall. But it's not no different than anybody, anybody else in this industry, this new industry. They have rigged it to where you can't win. You cannot stand. You're going to fall. And your, your falling from grace will not be neat. It won't be gentle. It's going to be um, turbulent. You're fighting to get in this game. You're fighting to stay in the, the, the game. And you're going to be fighting as they throw you the fuck out. They make sure that this music is microwavable 
so that you do not have a voice when you do wisen up and you want to speak on what's going on. Ah, uh, we done with that bullshit. That shit was lame as fuck. I can't believe I, I don't even listen to that shit. It's for a second. Nigga, it took, nigga, generations for us to goddamn, I don't, generation is kind of exaggeration, but nigga, it took years for us to say, nigga, you still listen to Master P? But even, nigga, nigga, still listen to Master P, nigga, we going somewhere, nigga, nigga, fuck shit, nigga, and turn up. And, but now, this shit is, it's like instantly, like that last summer type shit. So when you going and buying all this shit and you putting all these diamonds on all these niggas, you just don't understand how yeah, it's about to get real. But back to it. Um, you can't be played with. This promoter that um, that didn't pay uh, the baby he does this shit to everybody. He's a scammer. The news that came out, he's a scammer. Okay. Now, what he did to you, um, the way he got you, um, and what he got you for, well, this this hindsight. This hindsight. So we got to talk about hindsight. Um, whatever he got you for, First thing is, my nigga, why did you have to be the person to dish out whatever? Why did you have to be that person? Did, and what I guess what probably happened was you you felt like your celebrity walking down on him, your celebrity was going to make him up with the money because your celebrity is powerful enough. Or did you think that your gangster, have you started believing Go to the fucking Conseco Rap School, man. I did a video about believing the lie. Rappers start believing the fucking lie. And it's detrimental. You felt like you were going to up with it? See, because in the video, like, you walked away at some point because you, you thought about what was going on, but it's too late. It's too late. And now they got you on camera in Dallas. They got you on camera in Dallas punching a somebody in the fucking in the airport. And it's like you doing like dog, you're doing the same shit Takashi did. Because you're not a gangster, you're doing your best gangster rendition. You're doing your best gangster impersonation. Impression. So what you think is she a gangster? Uh, what he would do in this scene is anybody disrespect him, he going in these shit. He going, he going, he going hit him. No, and I need these folks to really believe I'm a gangster, so I'm gonna hit him. No matter what, I'm gonna hit his ass. As a gangster, what you would know is that my nigga, I'm out of bounds. I'm out of bounds. And as a gangster, what you would also know is, nigga, I got the money now. You would be so fucking happy and scared at the same time, nigga be walking on fucking eggshells. Not to say that, you know, shit hasn't happened with people and they, you know what I'm saying, have these situations, but your shit is just like, nigga, you doing this shit you always putting hands on motherfuckers. You wasn't doing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But now you know the spotlight on you. And, and you just don't want to be what everyone says you are. So now you got to prove to everybody. I'm going to prove to everybody. Don't fuck with me. Because I do it. Not everybody know if they want to check. Go to this duck ass nigga. He'll do it for you. He'll do it. So 
So it's just it's just that shit, man. It's just it's just you know it ain't no winning here. Um, and and what you going what's gonna be so crazy is that nigga, you come home after doing all that shit. The next person that try you, you let them slide, and now everybody going they going they they're gonna jump on that shit. They gonna jump on that shit. They're gonna use that to say that you a hoe. Oh man, the baby got punked out, man. Oh, they they fucking punked him out. Even though everybody know that you on probation and everything like that. Oh man. Oh man, he's a fucking bitch, man. He fucking. This is this is what this the trap is. It's like you can't win. This is what it's forcing you to do. If you want to stay relevant, you have to jump when it says jump. Sleep when it says sleep. How can you do the right thing when all that you put out there is the wrong thing? How in the fuck can it be positive? All that you put off is negative. I kill a nigga. I kill. I fuck a nigga. He's ever. How are you different from six nine? Like you're going around doing a test my gangster tour. This is what this game turns you into. It turns. An artist just into a fucking target and a fucking like a a, a fucking just a untamed animal because all day long it's like you're paying you're playing or people are playing capture the flag with your chain with your manhood with your respect with your hat whatever you got on. They're playing capture the fucking flag. So all day long you gotta be on fucking Tilt just all day long. Be ready to cross that line all day, every day. Nobody's on your side. That bitch is trying to hit you with this. She's trying to get a baby. She's trying to get a fucking lawsuit. She's trying to send you to jail for a fucking... She's trying to get on. This bitch trying to be famous. She's trying to start a fucking career. He want this, he want that, he want that, this motherfucker. This, this, the nigga that the rap trap talking about you. That podcast. And, the, the, and that's the trap part of this right here. That's, those are your options. That's your life when you make the, I kill a nigga, he step on me. I don't know, I shoot a nigga, I'm going to down him. I'm a kill, nigga. I'm a kill. I sell a dope and I got it on me. Sold me a brick before I got in here. When you make that music, that's your life. That's 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 what you have. But if you make some positive, productive music, crickets. Yeah, you gonna it's gonna be cool. Like you gonna have positivity everywhere you go, but you nobody gonna be looking at you. Nobody wants to hear that positive shit. This is the rap trap. How do you win? When I do negative music, uh, if I'm not getting my chain snatched, I'm getting arrested for this, or I'm getting fucking shot at for this, or this bitch, or I'm getting sent to fucking immigration. Somebody trying to expose me. Somebody from the past coming out. I can't win for losing. This is the rap trap. Do you not notice? Like, this is the life of every artist. Like, everybody has, like, some shit they going through. And it's, like, normal Huh. 
you gotta promote dope. If you don't promote dope, you're gonna lose, like, follow me. If you don't, if you try to make a change and change your content, your numbers are gonna start doing this. They're gonna start doing this. The same people that uh, own your label are in cahoots with Instagram slash Facebook slash YouTube. And they're backed by the people on the golf course. You stop talking, promoting, enforcing, embedding, programming kids to do dope and kill and fuck, your numbers are going to start doing this. And now the people, the, 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 the nerds at the label start coming up saying, hey, uh, what's been going on, man? It's, no, it's a little decline in your numbers. And what can we do? Seeing a nigga, they hit you with the herb guided. Um, uh, what the fuck? Growing up hip hop bullshit where they send a girl in to fucking rile up the fucking party and shit like that. They send somebody in to start a fight. They put some dope somewhere and get you arrested to get you back in the news. And only and hope that worked because now wasn't he just talking about you know we need to stop doing drugs and shit like that? Now you get caught with the dope. Shut up, Pinky. Now you getting arrested for you know. Uh, fighting in the club or some shit like that. Shooting in the occupied dwelling. Uh, unlawful um, use of a vehicle. Uh, fucking um, domestic violence. The fuck? Bitch pregnant. <laughs> this nigga, NLE Chopper, of course, nah. As soon as he broke up with his girlfriend, the bitch get pregnant. Think she getting an abortion? In the movie Faster, at the end, the white man said, we create our own hell. We made our own hell. We make our own hell. I mean, he's 16 years old, but it's just like, do you see what I'm saying? Like how the, like, the people, it's coming from everywhere. It's coming from everywhere. The failures. The failures. The ways to fail. The anchors. The hangers on. And it's just like, you know, if you're not sober, And they make it impossible for you to even follow the three S's. How can't, like I said, I mean, it's, like I said, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, the baby will probably, you know, uh, get out of this situation. Um, but he'll get into another one. Um, and then hit, like, you know, and his shit is going, you know, down, down, down. And then you'll get another artist. They'll go up. They go down, down, down. They just, they just got a revolving door going. And what all I'm trying to do is show you this. And maybe an artist will recognize it while they're hot, and start working to pull the fucking curtain down, so motherfucker can see that there actually is a group of people that are owners of. The businesses that we promote, privatized prisons, uh, big pharma, uh, big tobacco, you know, got alcohol back there, uh, Michael Jordan, you know, um, fashion companies, 
Gucci, you know, feeding money into, they don't, and it's crazy that Fendi, Gucci, and them, they don't got to pay the artists. We're paying the head of the label. And that head of the label is going to continue to sign artists that are pushing our propaganda. If you want the black black community to fuck with your product, you need to go to the golf course. Meet. I gotta find a name for the the head of the the uh, music business, the heads of the music business. Um, y'all find a name for me so we can start using it. But meet them on the golf course, and they will sign artists that are going to start programming children to use your product. The, 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 the judges and the, you know, the, the lawyers and the, you know, the private prisons, they good. They, they good. You know, we can keep building all kind of shit. Big Pharma, they putting big money in there. But, you know, that's just conspiracy theory, whatever the fuck. Um, I'm just trying to show what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you haven't noticed that rappers are being used as life-size toy soldiers, like, this is the real gladiator fucking field. This is the real... Uh, uh, fucking Roman Cathedral, this rap industry. It's not just more. God damn, what the fuck is fucking brim in head? Motherfuckers ain't just making songs about each other. Motherfuckers is dying and losing their life in prison, being shot the fuck down and living alive, being maimed, beaten. All you have to do is be a rapper, and automatically you, the you, the light the the value of your life is cut substantially, because at that very moment you're supposed to die. I that and that's why three years ago I made this theory, the rap trap. Who's behind this? Why is this normal? And will anyone stand with me and say there's something happening? And then, as far as financially, rappers are coming in and out, in and out, in and out. I, and I, I really started to notice that um, with that. I had to leave that bitch alone. To get, I think it was TK and Cash to get my mind right. Cash out, Cheddar to Connect, um, Fetty Wild. You know, like, motherfuckers seem like they. On it's like, is this how long an artist's career is? Is this their career span is only you know a summer, two months? Take K, Bobby, like these are hard hitters, but it's over. No one wants to uh fucking design up, nobody wants to hear any music. Your boy, what's enough? Uh, fucking uh. uh Lil Nas X, and and right they should. But this, uh, some of these motherfuckers, most of these motherfuckers, if not all, should be fucking short careers. But niggas is getting fucked. Like niggas and niggas don't know what the fuck to do next. But somebody is still getting paid. But you won't understand it, artists. You won't understand it. Until you're pushed out the way, just like they were. As designer, had how his life has changed, how the labels used to treat him versus now. Designer had no issues with the industry when he was on fire. Now I guarantee his fucking list is so fucking long. 
but you can only do something when you're on at your peak. But none of y'all gonna do that. But you know, it is what it is. So so since y'all don't wanna do that, we'll continue to watch y'all um be torn apart in this uh present day Roman cathedral. It is what it is. This has been a wrap trap. I am Ao Conseco. Make sure you go to the PayPal, make sure you hit that cash app, make sure you go to the Patreon. More than anything, it's so much shit on that motherfucker. Um, and it's, we still put new shit. If you're not seeing shit get posted, it's because it's going to the Patreon. Like, that's where we at. As AO Nation, that's where we are. That's where we communicate. That's where we do our thing. Um, that's why you might have been, you not seeing. Also, uh, YouTube is doing this shadow ban bullshit where they not send out notifications. So, you gotta really be on it to get to this shit. Um, but make sure you go to the, uh, the new channel, the, uh, and I got another show, The Step Down, where I interview people. That shit is crazy. I'll tell y'all more about that later. That's also on the fucking Patreon. Uh, but make sure you go to the uh, Conseco's Rap School at Tactical Operations. That's like the first or second link in the description box. Or just type in Tactical Operations AO, um, and you'll get there also. That's for you artists that are lost like this motherfucker, which is pretty much all of you. So, handle business. I'll see you all in a minute. Love, love.